Welcome back. I want to look at what I think might be one of the worst duplex scale designs ever. Um, no joke. Um, this one comes from German slide roll maker Faber Castell, famous for its good slide roll designs um, and high quality construction. And you, so you might be surprised that uh, this is a video about a Faber Castell slide roll. But this slide roll I'm going to look at here is the 282 original version, or what I believe is the original version. So a lot of times you'll see online the 282 or the pocket version 6282. Um, again, this is not the 282N or 6282N, which are later slide rolls. Uh, this is the 282 and 6282. But also, there are at least two versions, major, at least two different scale set versions of this slide roll. Um, so what I'm looking at is, I believe, the earlier one. Um, and this is out at least in 1955. Um, I was having a little trouble kind of getting a good date on these slide rolls. Um, but I recently found on Reglas de Calculo, um, a great Spanish language website, um, a Spanish language uh, manual and um, catalog page for this, sli uh, for this slide roll. And... Uh, Anyway, the, the catalog is 1955, so at least this slide roll is available around 1955. Um, it comes in this nice uh, hard plastic case. Let's take it out. Now, first of all, this is a nice uh, quality construction slide roll. Um, it's made out of Faber-Castell's Geroplast plastic. It has a plastic cursor, um, plastic uh, slide and statters. Uh, metal adjustable end braces, uh, dual color printing, has very nice um, European style and favor Castell style touches like the um, e e scale extensions here, multi-line cursor, um, has nice dual color printing as I said. Um, okay, let's let's talk about what makes this one of the worst scale designs in my mind um, that I've seen on a duplex slide roll. Okay, looking at this side, you might not be able to tell. This side looks like uh, what we have here is kind of a Darmstadt-inspired design. I have A, B, C, D, B, I, and C, I. B, I is appearing on a lot of later model Darmstadt slide rolls or Darmstadt-inspired slide rolls. Um, you have T2, so you have a little bit of extra trig over the Darmstadt design. Uh, you have the P scale uh, as the Darmstadt slide roll has, and you have S. You have here decimal trig. Um, what you're missing from the top and sides of the Darmstadt slide roll are uh, the K scale and the L scale, but we'll find those on the back. Um, now, you may have learned from some of my other videos, one of my criticisms of the Darmstadt design is uh, the lack of an ST scale. So, you know, when I'm solving triangles, when I'm doing trigonometry on the slide roll, I don't like to have to vary my trigonometric solutions uh, for the small angles, and so I really like to have ST on the base of a, of a slide roll if I have trig on the base, or on the slide if I have trig on the slide, then I can swap that ST scale in there just as I would use the S scale. And in other words, I don't have to change the way that I'm doing my trigonometric solutions uh, when I have, when I have a, um, trigonometry on the base or the slide. Okay, so here we have trigonometry on the base, so I would prefer that this slide roll have an ST scale. It doesn't. Uh, but of course, the Darm it doesn't, at least on this side. Uh, the Darmstadt design, though, doesn't. So, uh, so far, we can't criticize this rule too much. Um, but, now let's look at the back. When you look at the back of this slide roll, um, when I first saw this, I was like, what happened here? Uh, this is maybe like a slide roll designed by committee, or a slide roll designed uh, by a bunch of guys smoking something interesting. Um, I cannot figure the rationale for this. If you, if you guys have any insight into this, uh, let me know. I thought I would learn something by finding the manual. I found the Spanish language manual. A lot of them, the, it's easier to find the manual for the later versions. Uh, but I found the Spanish language manual for this original version and didn't really give me any insight into the design like I thought it would. Um, so if you guys know something that I don't know, please let me know. Let's look at some of the oddities here. Okay, so... My guess, my guess as to the design here was that somebody designed the front of this slide roll first. Um, they have this nice one, two, three, four, five back-to-back -back scale design, which looks really nice. 
you have T1 back to back with T2, you have A, B, C, D back to back, you put this BI and CI back to back, you make them both red because they're both inverted scales, uh, you put P and S back to back here, this side looks really beautiful. But then you, but then you say, oh, well, okay, I need to put scales that I didn't have on the back, uh, I mean, on the front, on the back, including K and L at least. Um, oh, and then somebody comes in and says, oh, this is supposed to be a log-log slide roll, um, so you need to fit on the six log-log scales. Uh, so here, okay, well, there's no place to put them really besides putting them on the base, so we put on the six log-log scales. Okay, um, oh, oh. A duplex slide roll is supposed to have maybe uh, folded scales. Folded scales. Uh, well, we didn't put them on the front, so let's put those folded scales on the back. So I'm going to put CFDF here. Ah, but there's not really a lot of space. Um, oh, somebody else said that we should put a second K scale. Um, this is maybe to uh, set us, differentiate us from our competitors. We'll put a second K scale. It's, it'll be on the slide. Um, there are some advantages to putting a K scale on the slide. You can do multiplication and division by square roots easily. Um, use them in combined operations. Um, but the, the K scale on the slide um, is really a kind of unique feature of this slide rule, kind of a strange thing. Um, uh, pretty, you're going to use it very rarely, I think, unless you do cubes and cube roots a lot. Um, okay, so. So let's look at some of the odd features here. First of all, we have we have ST on the slide. And while it may seem nice that they threw in ST, they put it on the slide instead of the base on the reverse. So not only do you have to flip, but you have to change the way that you're doing your trigonometric solution because it's on the on the slide instead of the base. Um, okay, they threw in the folded scales, but they didn't throw in CIF, um, so they don't have a, what I like to call a full complement of folded scales. Um, it is enough to, uh, you know, make a table for solving a proportion or doing a conversion, uh, but you have to flip the slide rule. Some solutions will be on this side, some solutions will be on this side. Um, they threw in an L scale. Now notice, there's no C or D scale on this side of the slide rule. Can you believe that? Not, not C or D, um, unless you count the folded scales. Uh, so to use L, they're intending that you, you use it with the C on the reverse. Um, so what seems like they thought when they designed the slide roll, they, they thought, well, we're designing a duplex slide roll, and uh, we're going to throw the rule out the window that says um, it would be nice if you didn't have to flip the slide roll over. So, really, uh, there is no concern given to the fact that you have to flip the slide roll over to do solutions. Uh, so, L, um, unless you kind of align it with the index here, you need to use L with the C, uh, C or D or CI scale on the reverse side. Um, Okay, the log-log scales, you could use them with CF uh, to compute powers and logs. You have a strange scenario that you would have to swap index sometimes with the pi, with the other pi, um, to do that. Um, which is kind of a strange swap. You might lose a little bit of accuracy versus swapping the index using the C scale. But, uh, looking at the manual, they're intending you use the C scale um, on the other side of the rule. That's the intention, according to the manual. Uh, in other words, they don't mind that you flip the roll over. Um, okay, is there anything else to say? Okay, so, basically, look, to use the L scale, to really use the K or the K prime scale, um, to use the folded scales in a lot of circumstances, you need to flip the roll over. To use the log log scale, flip the roll over to do the standard solutions. The ST scale, you need to change the way you're doing your trig solution um, if you're doing them with trig on the base style solutions that we have because we have trig on the base here. Um, okay, so, I wasn't sure for a long time whether the 282 and two, w was released before the 283, so for a long time, Faber-Castell sells both of them um, to kind of fit slightly different markets. Um, but, uh, finding this 1955 manual, it only has the 282. It has the 284, uh, the Mathema slide roll, uh, but it doesn't have the 283. So that leads me to believe that the 282 existed in this form for a while without the 283. Okay, so let's look at the 283. Here's a pocket version. I recently did a video uh, with this slide roll. Um, it addresses a lot of those criticisms. So in particular, looking here, it, um, it moves the folded scales to the front. Um, it moves the K scale to the front. So on the back, it actually frees up room for the W scales. 
Um, the W scales are explained in a different video, but um, the L scale remains on the back, but the L scale is key to the W scale, so it can be used without flipping the slide roll. And additionally, they squeeze in that C scale there, uh, so you can use the log log scales in the standard way. Uh, so overall, I think the 283 is a much better designed slide roll. Okay, it seemed that Faber Castell didn't want to give up on the 282, so I'm guessing here, maybe around the time the 283 was released, uh, there's a revision of the 282. Um, and here's a revision of the 282. This is the Dietzen version. Um, uh, but it's a, it's identical to the Faber Castell pocket version. Um, look what they do. They move the L scale and the ST scale to the front. The ST scale is moved to the base. Okay. That addresses already two of the criticisms. Now you can use L without flipping the slide rule. You can use ST with the standard trig solutions for trig on base. Okay. That frees up room on the back for CIF, uh, the one folded scale we were missing. Now, the folded scales are still split between the two sides of the slide roll, so they don't solve kind of all the problems. Uh, okay, they retain the dual K scales, um, but since they move two scales to the front, they also put the C scale on here, which allows you to use the log log scales in the standard way. Uh, fi this is, you know, it's not my favorite duplex slide roll design, but at least now I think it's a sane duplex slide roll design. So if you guys have any insight into uh, the history or background of the, the design of this scale set, I'd love to know. Um, leave a comment and come back soon.